Americans travel abroad for medical care for many reasons. You heard a little bit about them, not just in search for affordable prescriptions. Sometimes the wait is too long in the U.S. health system, or patients are searching for treatments the U.S. doesn't necessarily offer. So here to tell us how medical tourism works is Elizabeth Ziemba. She's the president and founder of Medical Tourism Training, the first training company dedicated to the industry and she's the regional director for Timos International Healthcare Accreditation. So I want to thank you for joining us. And I really want to start by addressing the term medical tourism. Uh, you know, I, I, I read this and thought, go to another country, you get a procedure done, and you enjoy some vacation time. But you actually told our producers earlier that medical tourism may not be the best label for the industry. So why not? Thank you, Lauren. Yes, the, the label medical tourism was coined by a journalist almost 20 years ago, and it does have a sense of adventure and the exotic about it. But the phrase, the phrase medical tourism is rather generic, and it's used to describe a wide variety of services that people may access when traveling. So that includes wellness, dental, elective surgeries, and complex medical procedures. So some of these treatments may allow for time to enjoy activities offered at the destination, but for any treatment that involves surgery, the focus has to be on the medical as aspects of the patient journey. Okay, I didn't know 20 years ago that that was when it was coined. Uh, keeping that in mind, uh, why do you think medical travel, I'll say, is, is getting so popular? Well, medical travel was growing in popularity from about 2010, uh, to 2019 when COVID hit and of course travel uh, was effectively closed around the world. But now the borders are reopening, we're seeing that medical travel numbers are coming back again. And there are a variety of motivations that prompt people to look for healthcare away from home. So first globally, uh, there's a growing middle class that has disposable income to spend and people are looking to spend money on their health. I think that's one of the important messages that the pandemic uh, provided to people around the world. We're also seeing that healthcare systems around the world are under stress, especially as they are emerging from the pandemic. So the result of that is longer wait times. Uh, we're seeing that there's staffing shortages, so the people aren't able to access the healthcare services that they need or want. Um, and of course, their uh, services, as you mentioned, may not be available in the places where people live, so they're looking for other options. And some very complex medical treatments are only available in a handful of destinations around the world. So that's another factor that uh, causes people to look at treatment abroad. Yeah, driving that popularity. I Well, I, I want to pick on this a little bit more, um, and especially we're mm -hmm. running short on time now. Uh, the cost factor uh, from flights to lodging, the procedures themselves, you mentioned, you know, coming back to travel. We all know it's really expensive to travel, too. How, how cost effective is medical travel versus finding care in the States? It really is an individual decision based on the person, their circumstances and the treatments that they are looking for. As you just mentioned, there are calculations that have to be done in terms of how, does, how much does it cost to get somewhere, stay somewhere um, and receive the treatment, not only for the person who's uh, traveling for healthcare, but for anyone who may accompany them. It's really hard to get information in the United States about the cost of treatment. So if you call your local hospital and you ask them, what is it going to cost for a certain kind of procedure? It's very difficult to get an accurate number of what that figure will be. Elizabeth Ziemba, the president and founder of Medical Tourism Training. Thank you so much for joining us on The Why and explaining the why behind the popularity that we've seen. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Lauren.